Yeah, yeah. So, so reasons why you would not want to create an NFT collection. So I think the first reason would be if you don't even understand the blockchain. So if you don't understand the Web3 space, like at least read a, a few blog articles, watch a few videos, understand what the space is about uh, before you, you start diving into to trying to code or, or create an, uh, an NFT collection without understanding the, uh, the environment around it, right? What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's true. I mean, a lot of people want to create art, they want to sell it, but they yet don't even know where the art lives. And um, that's a crucial part. You know, they need to understand that the artwork is simply a token that metadata is associated with. So they're not buying that image, really. That image just comes with it. Um, that image sometimes is hosted on centralized services. So understand it first. Absolutely correct. Um, I see this happen yeah. all the time. People jump in and then uh, they don't even know where the NFTs come from. And I think that's a, that's a very important point. Yeah. Do you have a second point? Don't get into the NFT space and start a community if you are sensitive. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. <laughs> I'm saying this that you need to have um, tough skin to be in this space. And the reason is because criticism is everywhere now if you start your project you excited about it your team is excited about it but as soon as people you know uh, get your nft and it doesn't do as well as as they thought or you thought um it's going to do there's nothing you can do about it right you can't persuade a whole market um just to change because of of something so be prepared for people to constantly criticize uh, your nft collection I would say if you are sensitive to these kind of things, don't start an NFT collection. Maybe just um, sit on the side a bit, look at how it's done. And um, if you really want to go uh, forward, then get someone that represents you instead of you being in the forefront because you are going to get a lot of criticism on how you could do things differently. So that, that's my point. <laughs> yeah, I think I think as an artist, you you have to have a thick skin um, and, and, and that kind of comes with NFTs as your artwork. You have to, you know, people are going to criticize the artwork, but they're also going to criticize the way you're going about your collection, how you're, you know, doing things like there's, there's, everyone's trying to figure things out in this space and everyone has an opinion. And so, uh, you're, you're going to get a lot of opinions and you just kind of have to let some of them, uh, you know, bounce off of you and just don't, don't take them to heart, you know, just keep doing, uh, what, it, what inspires you, right. You know, don't. Don't listen to all of the the negativity uh, and try to just get past that. So yeah, if you're if you're a little sensitive, you know this may not be the right <laughs> right course for you. I think a, th a third reason why would be uh, if you're just like your only goal is to make money. Like if you're just jumping into this because you want to make some quick cash, you probably shouldn't be in this industry. Uh, there's too many scammers, too many things going on like that. Like this is not for you. This is, we're trying to build a, a legitimate community here. So please stay out if that's your only goal. <laughs> what do you think about that? Absolutely correct. I mean, you know, the money is um, a big aspect of the blockchain. It is basically finance in itself, right? Um, but NFTs actually bring a different light to it. It brings uh, an ownable asset, an ownable image, an ownable real world asset, right? So. Uh, if you are here for purely like just making a quick buck and leaving, then, you know, you're not you're not going to do it to the fullest that you can. First of all, maybe you'll sell some, but I can promise you people are just going to uh, enjoy it for a while and then say, well, there's nothing here. Don't get me wrong. Like it's tough even if you're doing it for the right reason. <laughs> That's why I say have, have tough skin because mm -hmm. you might be here for exactly the right reasons, doing everything you can. And still it will, um, you know, turn out to not, maybe not be the best priced NFT. Um, but at the end of the day, I think mm -hmm. your intentions in the space should be, be pure enough where it is about the project itself. Find something that's interesting, that is mm -hmm. um, kind of revolutionary, right? And yes, you can follow a trend maybe if you have some cool spin on something. But um, yeah, money shouldn't be the number one thing because the money how it works is that it will come in regardless of what you're doing. 
So how I see it is that if you old one day, what would you like to think back on your life? Would you like to think, okay, I did this amazing thing. I made a lot of money, but it was totally useless. <laughs> you know, it was a, it was a quick buck thing and I, I did it and I made a bunch of cash and that's it. Or do you want to look back at your life and say, wow, I actually like try to build this amazing community and I got it right. And, you know, and um, you can look back at it and, and be proud of it. And that's why I think that's a big reason for me why I think um, your number one goal shouldn't be funding. You know, funding will come if the project is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I think I think it's, it's really a lot about the community. So it's about community building. And if, if you're not interested in growing a community or around your NFT space and you just want to sell it, uh, yeah, maybe not for you. But yeah. uh, how about a, a next tip? Do you have another tip? Um, yeah, I do have another tip. I think, you know, if you can't be um, persistent and actually follow something through, don't do NFT collections. You know, NFT collections are different than normal products in real world. You'll find that um, there's a constant pace that things running uh, are running at. It's very important for yourself to set that pace, first of all. So um, don't outperform yourself the whole time because it's going to be 24-7 and you are going to burn out. But what I'm saying is when you start it, even if it goes bad, even if it's not the best priced NFT, um, you'll need to push through and you need to succeed because that's your baby, right? So if you're someone that quits very easily, this space isn't for you. Um, every NFT collection is different, of course. So, but depending on what your use case is, right? If it didn't work out the first time, don't stop. Just carry on and try and make it a success. Uh, we talked about quitting, um, mm -hmm. you know, in the previous session. So I guess what we need to just highlight here is maybe the title is don't create an NFT collection, okay, based on these points, but feel free to do one if you have a goal, if you're passionate about a project. The NFT space is open to everyone. No one's excluded. You know, no one is here um, putting a gun to it saying you have to do this and the right way and this way and so on. It's an open free space for you to explore. But keep in mind that it is tough. It is extremely tough to start up an nft collection it's not that easy as it seems and that's what i just want to communicate right the easy part of it um even if it looks easy it's not there's a lot of things ticking at the back mm -hmm. to make stuff work yeah once once you get into it you'll you'll figure out there are a lot of things involved and uh if your expectation is that it's going to sell out in 30 seconds um you know don't set yourself up for failure like it, it could take years you know, you, you have to, again, have have that passion around your project and, and the uh, the willingness to stick with it throughout however long it takes. And, and, and it, there shouldn't really be a time limit that it takes because it there shouldn't there shouldn't be an end to your community. Like you should continually build your, your community even after it's sold out. Right. You don't want to, you know, leave them hanging after it's all sold out. Right. So you have to be in there in it for the long run for the entirety, the lifespan of your collection, which is forever. <laughs> so yeah. um, everything on the blockchain is permanent. So it's always gonna be there, so. I agree 100%, Jesse, uh, what you just said. It's it's a lifetime, right? Um, but what I said before, just pace it at a um, normal pace, you know? I made that mistake. I started communities and um, I gave them the world 24 seven a day and you know it's leading to burnout there's not enough time for family things anymore and um you know who wants to work in a space if you don't have time for family no one does so even though it's forever make sure it's sustainable and set yourself some goals and follow those goals you know look past the criticism and do your thing because you know the first thing that brought people to your project if you do that and constantly do that it's going to be a great time um, but yeah, so 100% correct. This, this, this blockchain is here forever. So take it slow. You know, you don't have to rush it. Yeah, exactly. I think that another, um, another reason why you shouldn't create a collection is if you don't have a good plan, like if you don't have a good roadmap and you know, that takes some time beforehand, before 
you create your contract is to kind of plan everything out, understand, you know, uh, what your goals are, and then communicate those goals and those plans to your community. That's going to help you build your community even faster if you have a good plan. So don't, you know, jump in and start a collection before you have that, you know, kind of at least initial plan in place. And what do you think about that? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Have a plan, uh, you know, before you start the collection. And some advice that I can give regarding um, roadmaps is your roadmap doesn't always have to pr promise a game or a metaverse or something extravagant, mm -hmm. right? It can be the smallest thing. It can just be community building. But as long as you communicate that up front and you stick to it, that's what your collection should be about. Um, one mistake that I see people do is that they have the community persuade them to start doing other stuff. And that's just because they're not happy with the current um, roadmap. But in, in the first place, they should have never bought in there if they read what it's about. So um, in, in that sense, you don't have to feel like guilty by the community telling you to, to pivot and do this and do that, because that's not your intentions from the start. So don't, don't do that. Um, I promise you it's going to not work out because you're going to end up with communities expecting more and more and more. Follow your plan and stick to it and if you do that have a great plan set out have a great um, means of marketing set out marketing is very important and realize that this is a this is a space that is constantly there it's not like the stock market where it switches off for a weekend it is 24 7. Mm -hmm. so i've got one last point um why you should not or yeah. when you should not create a collection and that is, I think, if mm -hmm. you don't have more than four to five hours a day to, um, you know, assist and be in the community space. Um, because, you know, mm -hmm. you're going to need that time to be present uh, in the space on a daily basis. It doesn't mean you can't do it when you have a full time job. That's totally doable, depending on what job you're running. But just know that it requires time and keep in consideration everyone's time zones are different. So. If you build a community that's sitting halfway across the world, be sure that they are going to be awake while you're asleep. So be prepared to have people available at those times as well. You know, so you don't um, have a community where something bad is busy happening, but you have no control of um, you know putting a stop to something if if it needs to um, if it needs to happen. So, yeah, yeah, that that yeah. that happens um, all the time. <laughs> for me, I need oh, to get some uh, extra moderators because I'll wake up and, uh, you know, there's, there's something going on and the, I didn't get to it quick but, enough, whatever the, um, the, the yeah, that's, case that's might a, be. That's but, a great point. Um, uh, yeah, there's, that's, that's it's, a, that's it's a, a worldwide um, um, there's it's, it's a worldwide like, you're not going to um, just be based in, in your your local time zone, right? So there's it's a 24 seven constantly going. So I think I think these are all some some awesome points and some some good tips to help you you know we said you know don't create a, com a, a collection if you're in these specific categories but that doesn't mean that you can't create a collection right so you know if, if you need to pivot if you need to change you know make sure that you have um, all these key points uh, before you start your collection right so you know definitely uh, join our communities check out our YouTube channels on uh, check out our Twitter and our discords and uh, you know we're, we're here to help as well so if you need help building your collections you know reach out in those uh, those specific areas and uh yeah i, th I think uh if you have a, a good plan and and you have the right mindset then your collection will be successful what do you think 100 percent correct it's all about the mindset so i always say just keep it positive and keep on going you know um while the world is busy criticizing you just stick to your plan and create and uh be great and you're gonna enjoy it I uh, just don't let any negative feedback uh, come to you. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. It was great chatting with you. And uh, I'm sure we'll do this again. JC, of course, man. It's always so nice. Check you soon. <laughs> Cheers. All right. We'll see you all later. Bye.